though. I hope uh, the background noise isn't bad, though. Uh, I'm on a roll a little bit. Not really. And not, these aren't very good videos or anything. I'm not suggesting that. <coughs> I'm still talking about Petro Zalata. Soon, I'm going to talk about uh, another Harvard case study. Uh, where's that? Sorry, you have to look through all this crap. Uh, uh, soon, I'm going to talk about, well, it's really Stanford and Harvard, first solar case study. I know some of you might work at First Solar, I think it's the most unique dust company in the whole world, but the uh, stock price kind of uh, went down before the case, and then it uh, really crashed after the case, and of course the case said how it's just the most wonderful company ever, and blah, 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 blah. So we're going to talk about other issues, just in, in some other videos. But right now, I'm going to continue on my tirade about IRRs and this wonderful sing single statistic. It's totally understandable why your boss and your manager only wants to look at IRRs. We talked already about this fact that the IRR, once you hit, if you've got a very high IRR, once you hit a certain date, it just stays there. Then I talked about this uh, issue that, well, 70% <laughs> IRR, if you, if the risk of the project changes over time and the IRR incorporates the changing risk, don't think about uh, what's his name, uh, uh, Warren Buffett. Just think about the changing of the risk. Now, uh, I shouldn't, I should have known his name. This one, we're going to look at different, we're going to try to look at a different statistic other than IRRs. Now, huh, I had a discussion with my daughter yesterday. She is, okay, I'm not, she's very nice. Wonderful girl. Except for one thing. She's getting married next month. And it's breaking me. It's just breaking me. Oh my god. Do you know how much a wedding costs? And I'm not begging for money for anybody. I don't ever think I'd do that. That's against my whole uh, philosophy of the web website. If you want to take a, a course of mine, and you know, anybody who thinks you can get the same quality of uh, discussion, and you can have these silly online courses and it really works okay. I think that's what a uh, complete rubbish. We can make videos that are before the course and after the course, but the <laughs> what am I doing? I want to save this. I want to save this. Uh, the, the quality of, of, of the course when you, you can talk to your, make friends and have, you know, fun. What more fun could you ever have than taking your Excel class? Oh my God. You know, and uh, uh, so now we're going to try a different method. And here's what we're going to try to do. We're going to put a risk for you. And here's why I brought up my daughter. She's very risk averse. Her new uh, uh, fiance, a very nice man. Uh, he he, uh, he they're going to move out to uh, Silicon Valley. Uh, I'm not going to tell you the story. It's not any kind of software person. You never take after him. But he's deciding on whether to take a, a, a high risk kind of a job for a new kind of venture or a stable born job. The stable boring job is like investing in a risk free rate. Now, at that time, for Petro Zalata, let's use about a 6% risk free rate. I think the, the case used something like that. And now, what we can do is see okay, let's take this investment in that and let's see how much if we, if we uh, made a risk free investment. What would uh, what would what what would you get from this uh, risk-free investment? Now, these I suppose I could do something fancy with the duration of this uh, 
bond. But let's just let's make it. Let's forget this. So let's let's say the total investment. You know, and and and, and we've got to take this to the future. Uh, that doesn't work, right? Uh, 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 we, we need to. Uh, okay, we need to get the uh, this in, in investment into future value. So, so let's put. Uh, let's assume this one is made here, and we multiply this by one plus the the uh, uh, risk free rate. I haven't done this before. Shift Control One. Shift Control One. Okay, and let's, so our, our uh, beginning point, so RF, what we could do is put some product, and we can multiply this one by this one, and that's how much, that's how much we're investing, maybe we'll put a negative sign. No, I'll leave that. And then we put equal PMT, how's that? And let's just uh, use our same risk free investment. I don't need the total investment there, do I? And then we put uh, PV, no, our uh, end periods, let's put 35. Oof, I can't do that, sorry. Period. Okay. Whoops. I'm a little nervous about this one. Okay. And here's what I, I hope you know where we're going with this is that what instead of computing IRR, I'm going to be like this this uh, son in law I have, will have after I've paid everything else. After I don't want to talk about how much I've paid. Uh, um, I'm going to uh, 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 hopefully, you know, I want to compare his two jobs. One is risk free, boring old salary. Another one is, well, okay, we take some risk. How much of an increased salary does he have to accept to take that risk? And that's exactly what, instead of the IRR, we're going to kind of look at a risk premium analysis. So, Let's put PMT, and let's uh, uh, put this rate here, and then let's put the uh, periods, F4, of course, and then let's put this on F4, okay? That's I have a U.S. computer because somebody broke my computer, that's another story. I bet you've never had your computer busted in two. I have. Luckily, I was able to get most of my stuff off the hard disk. Talking about my dysfunctional life. Now, okay, we can, uh, uh, if we want, we can see, well, how much over and above the risk-free rate do we... Sh if, you know, Alt-H, I hate this, Alt-H9, at H9, if you, if you want to take the decimals away, okay? So we could put premium, okay? And we say, okay, you've got a risk-free rate. How much over and above the risk-free rate are we on? We are on this minus this, okay? Whoops, how about this? Yeah, that was, that was negative. Oh, that's okay. And then the rest, shift control one, alt eight, oops, ah, that's the one thing, not alt, alt h9, alt h9, somebody from General Electric told me that. Remember him, he said it was okay to use the iteration button, that's ridiculous. Now let's put the NPV, I don't want it both, N NPV, NPV, this, NPV, uh, premium. How much is my nice son-in-law, how much is he going to earn over and above 
what he would get in a fixed salary. So we can uh, put NPV. Let's use the risk free rate. I think that's the appropriate rate to use. And we get this. Now that's 2.6 billion. And then we can put percent of, of uh, 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 investment. For me, that's like my son in law with his new job. It's saying, okay, this is how much he paid, and this is how much he would get. And he's getting 372%. By taking some of this, that shows you that I guess in society, if, if this is true, and if the, the bullshit, excuse my uh, our language, propounded by all the uh, financiers is, is, is always correct, how can I do this? Alt O R Auto Pharma. Alt O R. If that says risk takers become rich and people who are risk averse stay poor because he's getting 300 uh, uh, percent. Now, we could also do a little thing that says, okay, let's take the uh, uh, NPV and, you know, uh, uh, how, do, how would we do this? Just a minute. We, we, I want to compute this number, and instead of going all the way, let's just stop. Um, so, so let's put uh, truncated. Okay, and so let's let's stop it in year. Uh, uh, hmm. Put year. Okay. And what I'm going to do is I'm making a data table. So if we go to 10 years and we ignore the stuff after 10 years and then we take to 20 years and 36 years, what is this percent? So we'll just make a data table. So why don't we just put uh, one and then let's make another shortcut. I guess you can press shift down. Oh, I don't know how to make it automatically with just shift down. Alt T, e, everything is simple. Enter. Alt T, I S, enter. And then we just take this. How about we'll just do, do a simple one? This is less than or equal to uh, this one. So we'll be making our true and false inside the, the thing. Oops. I said less than, didn't I? Okay. And then we can put the. Uh, whoops. I, why did I press F4 on that? I know I didn't mean to. Okay. And I'll shift control 1. Alt H9, Alt H9, I can't believe that helps. Uh, uh, we'll put equal NPV at the, at the uh, risk free rate. And, uh, oops, oops, I have this new computer that's not got the uh, commas, don't I? <coughs> Shift control down. And then we do that as a percent of the, uh, the so so if we yeah. truncate it, it's okay. Take it. No. Uh, I'm in a lounge in the airport. I just told you I just came back from Rio. I'm very sad. <sighs> okay, so if we change this to twenty, then we get two seventy-two. Now, if you remember. The, the, the graph that I tried to show you. So I'm making a recording of the video as we go through this. Where is this? Uh, this graph. This graph suggested uh, future money doesn't really matter. But that's not a lot of shit. 
it's just a crap with the mathematics of the IRR, which I'm sure I'll have a, a, a video on. So now let's make a, a little table. Maybe we'll start with one. And then let's, let's put plus one. How about we go all the way down to the 36? Okay, and now the data table is going to slow us down. And we'll put the, uh, uh, how much you're making this premium. Okay, and we, whoops, I should have done Filippo's uh, suggestion. I hope for Heidi. I'm not sure. I need to hear from Heidi if these things are getting a tiny, tiny little less boring. I hope they're just, and I'm not talking about talking silly things like moaning about my, my, my daughter. I'm talking about uh, uh, um, uh, uh, I'm talking about these concepts, the concepts. The concepts about IRR uh, bullshit. Okay, 